Libera Morris, or The New Pygmalion, by William Hazlitt is a unique work that defies easy categorization. It is part autobiography, part philosophical treatise, and part romantic confession. Through a series of letters addressed to various women, Hazlitt explores the complexities of love, desire, and obsession, drawing parallels to the myth of Pygmalion and Galatea. The text offers a deeply personal insight into Hazlitt's own experiences and emotions, while also delving into broader themes of art, beauty, and the nature of human relationships. At its core, Libera Morris is a study of the transformative power of love. Hazlitt presents himself as a modern-day Pygmalion, whose desire for ideal beauty leads him on a journey of self-discovery and self-destruction. Through his infatuation with various women, Hazlitt grapples with the tension between reality and illusion, longing for an unattainable perfection that ultimately eludes him. This theme is evident in Hazlitt's description of his relationships, which are characterized by intense passion and longing, but also by disillusionment and disappointment. One of the central motifs in the text is the idea of the artist as lover. Hazlitt draws parallels between the act of creation and the experience of love, suggesting that both involve a process of idealization and transformation. Like Pygmalion, who sculpted his ideal woman out of ivory, Hazlitt seeks to mold his lovers into perfect embodiments of his desires. However, just as Pygmalion's creation ultimately remains lifeless and inert, Hazlitt's attempts to control and manipulate his lovers are doomed to failure. In this sense, Liber Amoris can be read as a cautionary tale about the dangers of objectifying others and projecting one's own fantasies onto them. The text also explores the darker side of love, particularly in its portrayal of obsession and possessiveness. Hazlitt's infatuation with his various muses borders on the pathological, as he becomes increasingly fixated on their physical beauty and perfection. This obsession leads him to neglect his own well-being and to disregard the feelings and autonomy of his lovers. In his pursuit of ideal love, Hazlitt becomes increasingly isolated and alienated from those around him, ultimately finding himself trapped in a cycle of desire and despair. Despite its somber themes, Libera Morris also contains moments of profound insight and introspection. Hazlitt's prose is marked by its honesty and vulnerability, as he lays bare his own flaws and insecurities for the reader to see. Through his confessional style, Hazlitt invites us to reflect on our own experiences of love and desire, challenging us to confront the ways in which our own fantasies and desires shape our perceptions of others. In conclusion, Libera Morris, or The New Pygmalion, is a complex and multifaceted work that defies easy categorization. Through its exploration of love, desire, and obsession, Hazlitt offers a deeply personal and introspective meditation on the nature of human relationships. Drawing on the myth of Pygmalion and Galatea, Hazlitt examines the transformative power of love, as well as its darker and more destructive tendencies. Ultimately, Libera Morris stands as a testament to the enduring power of literature to illuminate the complexities of the human heart.